Hello everyone. Today we will construct a quadrilateral when four sides and an angle is given. And we'll do that using an example. We have been given certain dimensions of a quadrilateral PQRS. Now, in order to construct a quadrilateral, we need to have at least five conditions or dimensions given to us. And if we look over here, we do have four sides and an angle, a total of five conditions. Let us start by first drawing a rough sketch. It will give us an idea on how should we proceed with the actual construction, right? The very first question is, which side to pick? Can we randomly pick any side? Um, actually, no, really. Especially when an angle is given. We'll come to it in a little while. So over here, let us pick PQ for now and draw 4.5 centimeter line, which is PQ. Angle Q is given to us, which is 120 degrees. So we'll make Q 120 degrees here. Then we have QR of 5.2, RS of 5.5 and SP of 4 centimeters. Now this is how our rough sketch looks like. Let us keep it to one side for reference. A very crucial key point that will also tell us which side to pick is to identify the given vertex angle and draw the side containing that vertex as the base. So over here we can either choose PQ or QR as our base. There is a reason behind it. Let's say we pick SR of 5.5. Then from S we can make an arc of 4 cm. From R we can make an arc of 5.2. But what next? We'll be stuck there. So over here it becomes crucial for us to pick a side where the angle is given to us. So in this case we are picking PQ. So let us first draw the side PQ of 4.5 cm using pencil and ruler. So let's draw PQ of 4.5 cm. Now we need to draw, we need to draw an, or construct an angle over here. So we'll construct an angle of 120 degrees at Q and then make an arc of 5.2 centimeters and that point would become R. So let's keep our compass needle at Q and in order to draw an angle we first need to draw a big arc like this. Now keeping the needle over here at this point and the same radii which we took initially will make an arc. Now we know that this is our 60 degree angle. But we need 120. So we'll keep our compass once again over here and make another arc of same radii. And this becomes our angle of 120 degrees. Now we have been given QR. So we just need to put our compass over here and make an arc of 5.2 centimeters. So for that let's open our compass to 5.2 and place it at Q, place the tip at Q and make an arc of 5.2 and this point now becomes R. So QR is 5.2. Now let us move on to next step. We need to make an arc from R which will be of 5.5 cm because that is the only information which we have. And from P we will make an arc of 4 cm such that both of these arcs intersect at a point which we will call S. Now we need to open our compass to 5.5 centimeters. Okay, keeping the needle at R, we will make an arc of 5.5. You can kind of make a big arc over here so that you have a good enough arc so that you know once you make an arc from here, it, it intersects. Next, we'll open our compass to 4 centimeters. Keep it at P and make another arc. Now these two intersect at this point, which we'll call S. Now the next step is to join RS and PS and PQRS is the required quadrilateral. 